a feminist deck by Kiva Smith Pearson. It's asking for 22 and a half grand and it's almost there. But what is it? Feminist deck is a bunch of cards with I drew with feminists on them. They include quotes from the women and information on how to support their work. She says that a woman she admires pointed out that many of their heroes are dead. So I presume now they're going to have a new set of heroes. Women who, she says, are alive, vibrant, brilliant, with impressive ideals and bodies of work. Sounds good, but a small alarm goes off in my head when I read that she's talking about how hard it is for women to get paid in this industry, so she's paying them. If they have an impressive body of work and aren't getting paid, something is very wrong and they don't really need a deck of playing cards to help them. When I think of women who are alive, who are feminists, who are vibrant, brilliant and have an impressive body of work, I think of Laura Karpman. She is a composer, she is an educator, she composed one of my favourite soundtracks, the original EverQuest 2 soundtrack. She's also an outspoken feminist and activist. She is someone who should be admired even if you don't necessarily agree with her politically. She is not on Kiva's list of people to draw and get permission from. Though of course, uh, Kiva can do whatever she wants, there's no, there's no requirement, I'm just saying one of my choices. Here are a couple of her choices that were on the list on this Kickstarter. Movie Bob, most known for being large, complaining, and trying to sell people his really weird Super Mario Brothers book that's actually a sad look into his empty, meaningless life. Arthur Chu, most known for appearing on Jeopardy and winning a bunch of cash, and for harassing establishments because feminist scholar Christina Hoff Summers, who isn't on this list, wanted to go there and hang out with friends. Although it does often say feminists, and at the beginning it says it focuses on women, later on throughout the text it does just say these women, blah blah blah, these women get, blah blah blah. It, um, is slightly misleading, but is the artwork at least good? I mean, you're buying a deck of cards with some art, that's really what's going on, so let's check it out. <laughs> but hey, if you want to pay for that, that's entirely up to you. Some of the other pictures are better, but they all seem to have Chelsea grins, you know, split open like the Joker. The Kickstarter creator does acknowledge that there are risks and challenges. Let's see what they're saying might get in the way. So I'm poor, she says. That's the, that's the risk or challenge for this project. Odd, because to me, that sounds like a sob story. That sounds like, um, begging. Needing a place to live is not a particular risk or challenge for a project. It's like saying a risk or challenge of applying to a particular job is that you're poor. That doesn't make any sense. Unless, of course, you're trying to guilt people into hiring you, or in this case, just giving you cash for something. Kinda gross in my eyes. If you need help, ask for help. Don't try and sell something and as part of your sales pitch say, I'm poor. This really is a perfect microcosm of contemporary... <clears throat> feminism, in which a very exclusive clique of men and women ask for cash to shove their faces, this time literally, in other people's faces to make more cash. This is just femsploitation, and to my eyes, dirt. But as usual, that's just another one of my harmful opinions.